Hello, I'm How To Bob, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the seats and springs in a Delta faucet. Now you can see the faucet just keeps dripping, so I'm going to go underneath the sink and turn the shutoffs off, both the hot and the cold, and then I'm going to come back up to the top of the sink and test to make sure that the shutoffs indeed did shut off the water. The next thing I'm going to do is put a paper towel in the sink to keep anything that might fall down from going down the drain. Now you can see the hole in the handle here. That's where my Allen key is going to go in. And there's a Allen nut that I have to loosen there. Once I get that loosened up, the handle should pull straight up. Sometimes that's a little difficult, so you have to wiggle it back and forth and pull it straight up, and it should come right off eventually. You can see how there's a flat spot in the one side here, and that's what mates up to the stem itself. And I'm gonna go ahead and replace the stem while I'm at, at it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my wrench and loosen up the nut that holds the stem in. And then I'm going to try to take my stem off and I use a little putty knife and stick it right underneath this little gap here and then just gently pry up on it and then some water is going to come out that's leftover water and I can just pull my stem out here you can see the stem is not in bad shape so I need to get the water out of the cavity where the stem goes just so I can see my seat and spring and inspect the area so I just take a paper towel and dab the water up now we can look down in there and see seat and spring down there so I'll take my needle nose pliers and just grab the seat and spring and they come out together most of the time you can see they're both together here and then I take my you can see the seats and springs here I take my new one and I put a little bit of faucet grease silicone grease just a little bit and work it around the top of the seat here that'll make the faucet operate a lot smoother and then I can take my needle nose and set it back down in the hole with the spring underneath it and uh, you can tell you push down on it and it'll have a little bit of spring to it and you want to make sure that it goes right in the hole and this is what it'll look like once you get it in so my next step is to take my stem here and I'm going to go around the edge of the o-ring with my grease silicone grease before I put it in it just makes it slide in a little easier and I lined up my tab and push the stem down and then I bring my nut over and put it on first by hand that way I don't cross thread as I put it on and then once I get it hand tight I can come back with my wrench and give it just a little bit of more tightening here just a little bit doesn't need too awful much and you can see I'm gonna put my handle back on that flat lines up with that flat on the stem and I can go ahead and use my allen key and tighten it back up and once I get it tightened I can check it for operation and I see that it works really smooth so now I'm going to go over to the hot side and repeat the process so I took my allen wrench in the hole and loosen up this one came off pretty easy then I'm going to use my wrench and loosen the nut And finally, I'm going to use a putty knife here to gently pry up the old stem. And once I get that out of there, just wiggle it back and forth. I can sop up the water that's down in the cavity here. And then I will take out the seat and spring the same way as I did on the other side. And before I put my new seat spring back in, I'm going to rub some silicone grease back on the seat and then I can set it down in the hole and I want to make sure it's lined up and you can see it's spring loaded and my finger comes back up slightly. So now I'm going to put some silicone grease on the O-rings. This isn't completely necessary but it does make your faucet operate a little smoother once you put it all back together you can see it's a little spring loaded there I can put my nut back on now and I always start it by hand so that I don't cross thread it once I get it hand tight I can come back in just slightly tighten it with the wrench and I can put my flat on the flat of the stem 
and tighten it up with my Allen wrench. Okay, good and tight now. Check it for operation. Now I can turn the water back on, but before I turn the faucet back on, I'm going to go back up to the top and take off the aerator because by taking off the seats and springs and the stems, I'm going to get all kinds of calcium. You see all this in here? So I want to go ahead and clean that out first, and I'll run the faucet now for a minute or so just to get all the calcium to come out and go down to the sink. Then I'll take my aerator and I'll clean that off. That'll give me a nice clean flow once I put it back on and I just screw my aerator back on to the faucet and it should work very smooth now. So that's how you change the seats and springs in a Delta faucet. I'm How To Bob. Thanks for watching.